hello everybody i know it's been a while welcome back to in the kitchen with kiki ola today we are going to be eating um and i'm also setting a what is it an example or a mandate for myself by god's grace we're gonna start um recording and putting out three videos a week okay three videos a week so um one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. Ooh, I felt that one. <laughs> All right, you guys. Come along with me as we eat some Nigerian beans that my husband cooked. And I cooked some Nigerian um, cow foot stew or soup with some um, yum in it. All right. So I know it's been a while, but it's the fall. It was my birthday week. You know when it's my birthday week, we get all creative. So... Um, sorry about the lighting, but I added a little fall touches. I am no way, no way. Uh, look, y'all see that? That's a Christmas tree, but I added some fall leaves to it. But, um, I'm in no way a creative. And I went grocery, went shopping, you know, for some one-ups, stuff like that. But that's not for this haul. <laughs> and that's for the kids to put up. But here we are. We got some cow foot. I put some egg in it. And we got some beans. Sorry that it's dark. Uh, we called our, what do you call it, microwave people. And they're supposed to be coming to fix our microwave. So, yes. All right, let's eat. And we had some rice, but um, some kids left the rice, as you can see. In the rice cooker last night, so I had to throw it out because it was spoiled. All right, let's eat. So, if you're new to my channel, you know that in my house we are multicultural. Um, so, I'm also having some cornbread with my Nigerian beans, uh, cow foot stew. Uh, we live here in Texas, so you can just imagine what part of Texas I'm from. Oh, God. So, all righty. So, here it is some beans, some cow foot. And we're going to also make, we have some cornbread. So, in my family, because we are multicultural, see that cornbread, Jesus, is the light that shines in me. Um, because we are multicultural, I cook multiculturally. And that means one week, we're doing... American or whatever you want to call it and then one week we're doing Nigerian or whatever you want to call it I need something to drink too so <laughs> if you know my channel you know I didn't know how to cook at all before All things work together for the good of them that love Christ and are called according to his purpose. And I was embarrassed one good time by my husband's family member saying, you know, they were so sad that he uh, married me because he was going to starve to death. And me being raised by my grandparents, baby, I I know I should have knew how to cook, but I ran. I ran. But we thank God. So this is yam. Nigerian yam. These are the beans and corn. Oops, I'm dropping my food. Um, this is uh, oi beans. They're honey beans. They cook way faster than the regular beans. And you guys, here's the star of the show. Oh, Lord Jesus. Ooh. Lord, help me not to get burnt. Y'all see that? It's a cow flip. And cornbread. And I didn't have any Jiffy, which is my go-to. So I had to make the cornbread from scratch. Thank you, Grandma. So I hope this is in good focus. If it's not... 
charge it to my head, not my heart, and we're going to do better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So, first we're going to pray, Lord, thank you for this food. Take all the periods out and provide nourishment for our body. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know. Maybe I should go lower. Mm -mm -mm. That's what we're going to do. Hold on. I don't know how much lower. And yes, we're going to do this all on camera. That ain't much lower. We're going to do this all on camera because, oh yeah. And I put a bay leaf in there. So, we're going to be eating that. But, oh yes, Jesus. So, I didn't grow up eating cow foot. But we, we, end up, we grew up eating um, pig's feet. And it's the same gelatinous. Mm -mm -mm. Gelatinous flavor. Of pig feet. So, what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving. Because my family's coming up. I'm going to make the cow foot the same way we would make pig feet and let them taste it and i think the only difference is probably bell pepper and seasoning nothing um just not so spicy and then i'll make the Nigerian one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I have not eaten all day. Um, it's my birthday week. So I took the week off. Happy birthday to me. But I had some education stuff. Compliance stuff that I needed to do. And so... I'm supposed to get my car service. Oil change. I need to check to see if they put that sticker because last time they did not. Mm. Oil change and um inspection. But <laughs> last year I was bagging up. And I hit this big old truck. I mean, just bumped it. And my car is so low, it didn't do nothing to the truck. But it cracked my um my light. I didn't get it fixed. He said they couldn't pass my um inspection until I got fixed they said they had the special order it'd be eight hundred dollars <laughs> who paid eight hundred dollars we finna just ride dirty baby we finna just ride dirty we paid eight hundred dollars sorry so after that I went to my job to do some education um i'm a cardiac nurse if you can see i don't know if you can see my necklace i got it from abby and family she sells some jewelry and i i take a bath in this thing i swim in this thing and i always get compliments mm. So I'll put her WhatsApp number down here in it. But um went to job, did my education. It only took an hour. Because to God be the goal, I was able to test it out. 
and this is probably more for my main channel but ekg to me baby i guess it this is how i used to look at them uh-huh you see it kiki mm -hmm. didn't understand it but it's like god is so good how that mud has become so much clearer <laughs> to god be the glory. so i was able to test it out So, I'm here by myself because um, the kids, my son has band practice uh, today until 6. And so, my husband, went to pick, have a little daughter and dad day. I already know my son. And so, after I left um, my job, I went to go pick up my friend because she had to drop her car off at the, at the service <laughs> center. And then I dropped her home. I went to Dollar Tree. And after Jolly Trail went to Target, and now we're home. And the only thing I ate this morning, my appointment was at 9 9.30. 9.30. And I did not didn't start walking back towards the to pay until 12.14. It's funny, my friend went to work at from 10 to 2, 10 to 12. We worked the same shift. <laughs> it helped. She got paid, and I had to pay. <laughs> and the only thing that was keeping us... I'm not work um hanging out was because baby we were both hungry. <laughs> and I can't for the life of me, even though it's my birthday week, I can't for the life of me go out to eat and I have the good food at home. <laughs> I can't. And she had some good food at home, too. But only enough for her. And so she, she was like, I don't want to go out to eat. My, her friend is a professional caterer. Mm. Professional caterer. And so she had made, I think, some cornbread collard greens, yams. Who's going to go spend money on some food? Um, baby, I had this cow foot and them beans mm -mm. and this cornbread. Nope. Because everything I wanted to do I've always wanted to try Korean barbecue, but in my city, it's too expensive to be played over, so I didn't really want my husband to go. <laughs> and I was like, it was next to the Target, and I was like, maybe I should treat myself for my birthday. I was like, nah, we're not doing that. Oh, y'all. Mm -mm -mm.
So good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm messy. <laughs> I hope y'all can see this. I hope you can. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I promise it will improve from here. Mm, mm, mm. So, I was, I was kind of in my feelings, but not really. I had to reach out to my bestie. Cause she forgot to text me, call me for my birthday. I knew she was going out of town. But she went out of state. And she said she's just been running every since and tired. And coming home from work, going straight to sleep. But she knows I know her. And I also have to remember that this month also is her dad's birthday month. Who's passed on. And her brother's birthday month, so um my brother, you know, thank to God be the glory still here. So I know she probably has some emotions because she it's my birthday and I have emotions and like even thinking right now, I think about my own daddy's birthday, who's next month. So <laughs> I'm giving her a pass. <laughs> With y'all, I am. I'm giving her a pass. Cause if you're a real friend, you'll understand. You know, and it's not even gonna make you question about your friendship. And though my dad is more recently gone. It don't matter. Mm. Yeah. Y'all, there's some meat stuck in here. So, it's been raining all week, which I love. Especially since I ain't got to go to work. But our next video, 